Berkate Yahawa, Berkate Yahawa Shai, Ko Haloyam La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Barachaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barachaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel in truth, in sincerity, always in charity. This is Brother Mathati from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, you can see on your screen here, this is a video from the elder Yashawamba. It says, ISUPK, D plus Israelites mocking ancient customs. And, you know, when you <laughs> watch the beginning of this video, it goes into uh, 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 this guy right here, man. You know, pretty much mocking, you know, the brothers in uh, Palm Beach, right down in Florida, GMS Salt. The brother Yeshaya, he's head of that church. And um, just want to uh, focus on, you know, what the church is, you know, because the brother made a statement and said, you know, the uh, uh, the church is out there in the, uh, uh, where those brothers are gathered at. And um, without further ado, we just get right into it. You know, Lord's will, this ain't long and drawn out. This is um, the Etamon online of church. It says, Old English, uh, Cerise. Place of assemblage set aside for, it says Christian worship, but we know the true Christians are the Israelites, man. The worshipers, the followers of the anointed of our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says the body of Christian believers, and that's what the church is. The church is the body of believers, right? And wherever they assemble, the place of assemblage set aside for Christian worship. So it's showing you where the body of believers be. Christians collectively. So wherever the body of the believers are, that's what the church is, man. And we have examples of this written throughout the precepts. Now, all I did was type in church and house. There's a couple precepts, you know, that I, uh, I wanted to speak on specifically. Like this one here in Philemon. It's the book of Philemon 1 and 1. It says, Paul, a prisoner of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow labor. And to our beloved Aphia and Archippus, our fellow soldier into the church in thy house. So the elder Yashawamba made a statement within his lesson about, you know, how we assemble at our houses, man. We're not bound under a 501c3. We ain't bound by no building or no school, as dude would put it, man. No. We doing it as our forefathers did back then, right? The church that was in his house. So there was a gathering of believers that would take place in the man's crib, man. You see? And this happened many times. Like, let's get another one. It's the book of Romans 16 and 5. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Who house, man? Let's start up. Verse 3, Romans 16 and 3. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, who have for my life laid down their own necks, Unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Israelite foreigners, <laughs> right? All the gatherings of the Israelites outside of, uh, outside of Israel, outside of Judea, right? Verse 5, likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Epinatus, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Hamashiach, unto Yahweh Shai, man. You see that? So you see the pattern <laughs> here, man? So there were certain Jakes who would have the fellowship at their house. You see? This is the book of Colossians 4 and 15. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nymphis and the church which is in his house. You see that? 1 Corinthians 16 and 19. The churches of Asia salute you. Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord with the church that is in their house, man. So this is playing into the point. So the so church, it goes into the gathering. You see, the assembling of Israelites, any gathering or throng of men assembled by chance, which, which, which that could be a definition, man, because let's let's let, let's go into it, because this nigga said the church means the school. Right. Well, let's just get this assembly. Let's narrow it down to the book of Acts. I know it's Acts 19 chapter. 
And that goes into uh, what Apostle Taha was just doing a lesson on, man. Beware of regurgitating Israelites. Guys just spew some shit that they ain't even go back and comprehend for themselves. Go back to verify for themselves. That nigga heard General Yohanna or General Mahayman or Captain Cesariak. He heard them niggas say it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, it, it, it means school. Goof ass nigga, man. That's why the Lord said my people are sottish, man. And that nigga, you, 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 you can see it too. Look, oh, look. And that's, and I'm glad it popped up. On <laughs> look at that, man. Sottish ass nigga. Anyway, Acts 19 and 32. Some therefore cried one thing and some another for the assembly. Let's get the word assembly. Oh, oh. Ecclesia. It's the same word. It's the same word. You see? So it don't mean school. Goof and mock. Acts 19.32, some therefore cried one thing and some another, for the assembly was confused, and the more part knew not wherefore they were come together. <laughs> That's this guy, man. He confused, man. You know, he don't know what the hell's going on. 19, uh, Acts 19.39, but if ye inquire anything concerning other matters, it shall be determined in a lawful assembly. Same word. Verse 41, and when he had thus spoken, he dismissed the assembly. Same word. You see? So these guys are unlearned, man. Don't know what the hell they talking about, man. You see? So the true church, the true gathering is those who are gathered through the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. As the Elder Yashawama read within his, uh, uh, um, within his lesson, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. That's the church. You see? So wherever the believers of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, is gathered, that is the church. It ain't no school that anybody can walk up to. No. We're assembled out there on the highways and hedges. Right? Because that's what we're commanded to go out and do. You have guys that come up and be like, well, where do y'all fellowship? Y'all ain't got no building or anything. The Lord said he dwelleth not in buildings made with hands. So no, there's not no official building, <laughs> you know, that we, uh, nah, no, there's not. You got guys that come and be like, okay, so where can we uh, break bread with y'all? Where can we come meet y'all? Here, out here on the highways and hedges. Because it tells in Sirach, the sixth chapter. This is Sirach 6 and 7. It says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him, man. So we're not going to invite no stranger back into where we fellowship at. Right? Because it speaks about. um. Sirach 11 and 29. Bring not every man into thy house for the deceitful man hath many trains. You see that? So according to the precepts, man, you know, that guy has to be proven first. He has to meet us out there on the highways and hedges before he gets to come back until where we gather. You see. These men, <laughs> they weren't allowing anybody just to come back into, you know. Their houses, man, right here. Let's read this again. Romans 16 and five. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Any and everybody couldn't just come back. You know, and and, and, and and be there. Right. And oh, another precept I want to grab. Because a nigga said oh, it, 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 it means it means a school. Let's get this also in Acts. This Acts, the seventh chapter and the 38 verse. This is he. Matter of fact, let's start up. Verse 37. This is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, a prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Oh, there was a school in the wilderness? No, there was an assembly. <laughs> you see? This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in, in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively, lively oracles to give unto us. You know? And when you go into this word, ecclesia, 
I believe it actually goes into uh the called. Yep, a calling out. That's what it literally means. A calling out. You know? And the Lord called us out of Egypt. <laughs> right? And the Lord is calling us from the different places we were scattered to. You see? Just like the Acts 19, those guys were called out into uh, uh into the assembly for you know those different those different um things that was going on you know so so this guy has no clue what the hell he's talking about man don't know nothing about ancient customs see these guys ain't 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 ain't, ain't, ain't preparing themselves for the search of their fathers they're searching out general yohanna likewise with the rest of these camps they not they not Going into the search of our fathers, man. They're not going into looking at the things that are written aforetime and the ancient customs that our people used to practice. That's why they keep the Friday night to Saturday night Sabbath. That's why they 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 they, they hang on every word that they they bishop or they general or whoever the hell he is tells them, man. And regurgitates it instead of going back and proving whether those things were so. See, because that's what the true believers are going to do. Right. And they're going to uh, and they're not going to allow just any and everybody to, you know, to come and partake in this. They got to be proven first. Now, when you go here to first Corinthians, the 11th chapter, this first Corinthians 11. And 20, when ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper for in eating. Every one take it before before other his own supper and one is hungry and another is drunken. What have ye not houses to eat and to drink in or despise ye the church of the most high and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Yahweh the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had break. I'm sorry. And when he had given thanks and break it and said, take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do ye do show the Lord's death till he come. So Yahweh uh Salakia, Paul is speaking about what? The partaking in the Passover ceremony. Right? Eating of the lamb, drinking of the wine, eating of the bread and the bitter herbs. But let's apply this into what? This knowledge. Apply this unto this knowledge. You see? Any and everybody, just because he walk up and says Shalom, don't mean he gets to come back and eat of this bread and drink of this cup with us. Let's keep reading. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Just like ain't no random guy finna come into the Passover and we give him a plate. Nah. Same thing with a guy being invited back to break bread within what the uh, uh, um, the houses where we assemble at. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, when... I'm sorry. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry for one another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home that ye come not together unto condemnation and the rest will I set in order when I come. So if a guy just coming to get a plate, you see, guys just come just to be a part of something or guys just come just to eat. When it's pertaining to the uh, uh, um, to the uh, to the Passover, nigga, you ain't just here to eat, bro. Or even when it's pertaining to us gathering together. It ain't just to be a part of something. That's why it tells us here in the book of Sirach. It's the book of Sirach 9 and 16. And let just men eat and drink with thee and let thy glory be in the fear of the Lord. You know, so a guy has to be proven first before he gets the, uh, uh, the OK through the spirit to be invited back into uh, uh, the particular places where we where we gather in fellowship. And that's the church, man. You know. The church is the gathering. Wherever 
we may be. Right? So, Lord will, I hope this was out of fine. Tawad Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. We give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity always in charity. Shalom.